Good morning, guys. Welcome to Think Proofs. Today, we're going to discuss about uh, Service Cloud in Salesforce. So let's see uh, our agenda today. Uh, we'll look at the basic concepts of Service Cloud. We'll also look at uh, the key business goals and uh, futures that are provided by Salesforce. And we'll see uh, the differences between uh, uh, Sales Cloud versus Service Cloud. And we'll see the current prices that Salesforce is providing to maintain a Service Cloud. So let's dive in. So what is Service Cloud? So Service Cloud refers to as service module in Salesforce. Uh, it mainly includes objects like accounts, contacts, cases, and solutions. It's mainly designed to allow you to support current or future customers. And it's mainly focused on providing support and help to the customers, which will help us in retaining these customers and increasing their satisfaction. The main unique feature that the service clouds provide is giving individual attention to each customer needs and taking a proactive approach to like the customer issues. Now, let's look at the business goals that can be achieved using service cloud. First one, personal service. So Salesforce gives us a platform where we can store all the details of the customer, like every single uh, minute details. Like let's let's take an example of a customer who did a couple of purchases in the past, and he ha he has also given a couple of complaints on those purchases. So our service team in future, when they're contacting this particular customer, they can pull up all these records, and uh, they can better assist uh, them. Always on service. So Salesforce, uh, we, we have an option of uh, uh, giving service available uh, to our customers 24 seven, which is always helpful. Multi-channel support. So Salesforce allows customers to uh, select their own channel or their own means of contacting our service team by using mobile phone or uh, chat. Fourth one, faster support. So Salesforce provides us with a single console where all the service needs for that particular customer can be accessed, which will in turn helps our service team to deliver the support service faster. Let's look at the key features of uh, Service Cloud. First one, console for service. So Salesforce provides us with a unified platform where uh, our agent can look at all the cases they have in their hand and they can prioritize all the, all the cases that they have and they can create tasks for that which will help uh, give a personalized experience to the customer of each case. Second one, knowledge base. So all the interactions and resolutions that has been done with the customer are basically captured and organized into a knowledge base. So this in turn helps in like future uh, issue resolution. Third one, social customer service. So let's say as more and more customers connect with our organization through social media, we can directly deliver our services through the social media platform instead of uh, asking the customer to visit a different website to get these interactions. Live agent. So Service Cloud provides us with a real-time online help with the customers with its uh, unique chat service, mobile platform. So Salesforce provides us with the Salesforce One mobile app where we can manage our customers uh, from any device and from any place. Service Cloud Communities. So this is the place where customers can help each other. They are uh, given with certain tools which are available for self-service on like various troubleshooting requirements that they have. Now, let's look at the key differences between Sales Cloud and Service Cloud. So Sales Cloud mainly focuses on leads, opportunities, and sales. Whereas Service Cloud mainly focuses on services and cases. If you look at the left hand table, you can see all the objects that Sales, Sales Cloud has. So all these objects are also included in, included in Service Cloud. In addition to that, we have four more objects, which are Service Cloud Console, Service and Entitlements, Service Level Agreements, and Visual SLA Timelines. In addition to that, we can also add some add-ons for example, live agent. So this gives us a brief picture of uh, like what 
service cloud has and what uh, sales cloud doesn't so you can pause the video and just uh, take a brief glance at it next let's look at the pricing of uh, service cloud so this is same as the uh, sales cloud in the previous video uh, i have explained in detail on e what what each edition gives us so please refer to the previous video the sales cloud video that i have uploaded and uh, you you can know better about uh, the editions there so this ends our session thanks a lot for watching this video please uh, do subscribe to this channel and thanks for your support thank you